Is your Joomla site plagued with deprecated warning or notice messages? The best reaction might be, meh. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also build Joomla sites, work on them, maintain them, migrate them, update them. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Okay, let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll get right to today's topic. Something that is happening, especially often when people are migrating their sites from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4, is you end up with a fatal error when you do your migration, especially if you're testing a migration with Migrate Me 4, where you can test Joomla 3 to 4 migrations in the subfolder without affecting your live site. You end up with a fatal error, you fix it, but because you still have debugging and error reporting turned on, you start seeing these other messages. And the question is, what do you do with those messages? How do you fix them so you can move forward with your site? And as we'll see here, you might not necessarily need to fix them. So for an example, I'm using my sister-in-law's Joomla 2.5 site. I've not migrated or updated or anything for a while. It's in the queue to be done. But the reason I'm showing it to you today is because I can get it to throw all kinds of messages like we are talking about. So let's get ready for that. In the back end of the site, in the good old fashioned way, I'm gonna to go to site, global configuration, a blast from the past here. I'm gonna turn on debug system to yes under the system tab and under server. I'm going to put error report to maximum and I'm going to save. Now, as you'll see, we run the site. Everything is running hunky-dory. You have debug information at the bottom. But now let's go into the web hosting control panel for this account and change it from PHP 5.4 to PHP 8. All right, you know what's gonna happen. We go to the page and we go refresh and look, we have a fatal error. Now that's not deprecated message or a warning message or a notice message. That is like something is broken and you can't just say met to that. You gotta fix that. So in this case, what we're going to do to fix that uh, is we're gonna drop down to PHP 7.4 uh, for that domain. We'll hit apply. And now we're gonna hit refresh and the site sort of comes up, but look, here we've got all those messages that I was talking about. Uh, as we scroll down, we see some things, some images showing up and pictures and that from the page. But you know, this is not any way that we want to leave the site. But, and we'll look at that in a second, but check this out. Let's see the different messages we have. Deprecated. All right, so deprecated means there's something in use that is no longer recommended in use in the coding and that at a future date is probably going to be removed. And this problem will go from a deprecated message to a full on broken site. So it's alerting you to that. If we scroll down here to warning, Here's a message that is indicating a more immediate problem with something that is in the code that is being used and it could be causing problems. So you wanna pay attention to that that's going on. And then as we see, there's notices. Those are less concerning messages about issues that are happening, uh, but still there's something to be aware of. All right, with those three messages there, how do we fix this? How do we get the site moving forward? Well, here's what you can do. You can just go back to the global configuration and you can turn error reporting to none. And then in system, you can go to debug system and go no, save, return to the front of the site and refresh. And you'll see, there you go. You get the site. Now, there is one thing you need to notice though. Look, there is no menu here. So one of those notices was important to pay attention to if we're gonna run this site on that PHP version, I need to come up with something else for the menu. But as you'll see, the rest of the site is there. So when you're getting messages like the ones we've been looking at, you may be able to just turn off debugging and error reporting and not worrying about them if everything is working. They'll probably be taken care of in future versions of Joomla running on the highest versions of PHP and in updated versions of the extension you're using. But do keep in mind that they do give you helpful information when something's broken. And pro tip, even though you have debugging and error reporting turned off, 
the error log might still be filling up with a record of all of these messages that are happening. And if your site has a lot of those messages, that could make for a very large log file and could fill up the disk storage space of your web hosting account, create problems for you. Subscribe for more videos. Till the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.